Panamá. Panamá, Panamá. The Stars and Stripes have flown unchallenged over the Panama Canal for the last half century. It is true, little here in the Republic of Panama, a country whose friendship we have taken for granted since its birth, the Panama Canal has now become a danger zone. The silent people wait for the storm that is almost inevitable. And at this moment in history in Panama, another kind of storm is also threatening. A little over a year ago, in November 1959, on the anniversary of Panama's independence, thousands of Panamanians demonstrated against the United States and tried to force their way into the canal zone. The leader of the mob, member of Panama's Chamber of Deputies, Aquilino Boyd. The Panamanians felt that uh, they should go to the canal zone on November the 3rd, 1959, because that was uh, uh, a way of showing uh, the world that uh, we are sovereigns in that uh, part of our territory. And we wanted to bring the Panamanian flag over there as a proof of our sovereignty. And uh, the way that we were received there by a uh, general by the name Potter, uh, it was outrageous. It had been bruited around for quite a while that there would be disturbances on November 3rd. Various groups there, some of them uh, communist inspired, had said they were going to march into the canal zone. They attempted to do it, and under the law, and I believe in the law, I was required to stop them. It, we tried to do it with the police at first, uh, without uh, any show of arms, but finally when the police were overrun and about 20% of them were in the hospital, why well, we had to call out the troops. The governor gave the order on the 3rd of November. The governor gave the order on the 3rd of November. The army was given full command, meaning to stop the demonstration by the border. They put up a sign, Panamanian don't cross the border line. Although they put up the sign, Panamanian still cross the border line. And they singing, Viva Panama. Soberana en la zona del canal. Oh, oh, oh. Viva Panama. Soberana en la zona del canal. 1959, the 3rd of November, a riot took place in Panama. The citizen, we are not mystified. It was led by Deputy Alquilino Boyd. When they went up Mota July Avenue, American Greek Panamanian were through. The soldiers with their bayonets throwing boom bullets and tear gas. The governor gave the order on the 3rd of November. William Sata gave the order on the 3rd of November. The army was given full command, meaning to stop the demonstration by the border. They put up a sign. Panamanian don't cross the border line. Although they put up the sign, Panamanian still cross the border line. And a singing, Viva Panama, soberana en la zona del canal. Viva Panama, soberana en la zona del canal. General Porter gave the Panamanians uh, the impression that uh, he has cucarachas in his head 
because he acted and uh, his uh, reactions were very much unfavorable to the United States and to the government that he represents. Well, I'm not sure as to the proper location of the Cucarachas. Uh, that would be a subject of some discussion. Uh, Aquilina Boyd, who I know quite well, is a fine young man, uh, fine appearing, and so on and so forth. Uh, he is a politico in Panama. He's one of the 57 deputies. Uh, I am sometimes suspicious of the statements of politicians, as is are most people. A group of patriots that went there were received by the United States Army with fixed bayonets, with bird shots, with hooves, with clubs, with tear gas. And the Panamanian people were very fond of uh, the United States Army, the army that has fought twice for democracy. The heroes of uh, Guadalcanal and Okinawa were certainly not at uh, their best part when this uh, man by the name Potter called on them to put up that show that was the disgrace of the relations of the United States with Panama. The aftermath of riot brought increased tension and division to Panama. General Potter ordered the construction of a fence along a section of the canal zone. It stretched along the borderline with Panama, where no physical barrier had existed before. And it became a symbol, not only of distrust between the United States and the people of Panama, but also of a changing mood in Latin America.